it's very rare that I remove an episode. And the only time I will ever remove an episode is if it can do harm to you. So I am all for people having differences of opinion. I've had guests on prior that I have openly stated I don't agree with them, but it's freedom of speech. Everyone is allowed to share their opinion as long as it does not do harm. If it's a potential for doing harm, then it's my responsibility to you to remove it. The first episode I've ever removed was Dr. Alan Christensen, where he openly speaks about and touts the importance of low iodine to no iodine. In fact, even avoiding iodine-containing foods for those with hypothyroidism. Now, since then, through years of research, I have, well, I never really did agree with them, but I have increased my stance on the importance of iodine. When you dive into Dr. David Brownstein's work, read the iodine crisis, and then just simply use common sense that every cell in the body needs iodine. Iodine is crucial for thyroid function. It is a halide that binds to the toxic halides like bromide and chlorine and fluoride, which are detrimental to the thyroid. It binds to those and helps with detoxification from those halides. In addition, it's antiviral, antifungal, antiparasitic. It improves your immune system. It is the number one element needed to reduce reverse T3. So why would we avoid it? Now, recently, I have encountered an expert in iron. She's going to be on the podcast. By the time you hear this, you might actually see that podcast is out. Deep dive into that, I encourage you, because she also has been studying iron for at least a decade, hundreds, if not thousands of hours into research on iron, the importance of ferritin, and how horrible you can feel if your ferritin is low. That's how I've always felt, but I was open to the conversation and the the information provided by Morley Robbins. And I still do believe that copper is important. Copper can help when ferritin levels are sky high, showing inflammation. Ferritin can come in and unlock those ferritin stores because that's what ferritin is, your safe storage of iron. Copper is amazing for increasing your immune system. It's helped me alongside iodine this year to avoid getting sick all winter. However. To say that you only need copper when your ferritin levels are low or not optimal is doing harm. I can't allow that message to be out there. I can't allow that confusion to be placed on you, my listener. So therefore, after much debate and much study, I have chosen to remove the episodes that give the message to avoid iron. You could walk around with a ferritin of zero. That is simply not true. You will absolutely feel horrible. I have seen anecdotally, and I did bring this up in my podcast with Morley, that I have seen too many times anecdotally that when you bring a ferritin level up from the toilet, when you get it into that 80 to 100 range, and the expert that I'm going to have on says maybe even over 100, when you get it into that optimal range, things change for the better. The symptoms of low iron, low ferritin, mimic hypothyroidism, and then some. There's even additional symptoms that come from low ferritin, which we're going to talk about on the Iron Podcast. But for now, I wanted you to know why we removed these episodes, what my stance is on ferritin, what my stance is on copper. I do still believe it's beneficial alongside vitamin A, but I do not, do not believe that all you need is copper, and that you don't need to look at your ferritin levels and address those if they are low. Any questions, pop into the Girl Fix Your Thyroid Facebook group. That's a great place to ask questions, get things clarified. And then if you want to take it one step further, pop into the Better Thyroid and Hormone Club. That is where I personally answer your questions live. I have experts in live to answer your questions. We deep dive Every single week. There is no other place in the world that for $57 a month, you can't even go out to eat for that. $57 a month, but you can get your questions answered live 
your labs read live, 10% off all fixer supplements ongoing for as long as you're in the membership and additional discounts larger than what we give to the rest of the world. Additional discounts every single month on supplements and new releases drop to you first. Tons of benefits for $57. Better Hormones, Better Life.com to sign up for that. Otherwise, just enjoy all the other episodes in the Thyroid Fixer podcast.